let us start this lecture with a thought process man can never be more intelligent than the mother nature and uh, in the last lecture if you look at we had discussed about mass conservation equation right and what we call continuity and continuity is very important isn't it not only in the fluid mechanics but also in our culture the continuity is being broken means you will lose the cultural heritage so also the fluid mechanics and all are continuum right we are working on the continuum mechanics okay so that is very important and what we will be doing and when the continuum is there or it is continuity is there and also that we need to look at momentum how much momentum is there that makes the fluid to move and so also the nation isn't it momentum plays a very important role and if you look at momentum momentum comes from where what are the causes of this momentum any idea what are the causes is the forces right which will be acting that makes it to have momentum isn't it without force can you have any momentum yes or no so today we will be looking at momentum conservation equation that we will be deriving and for that what we will do we will take as usual that is a infinitesimally controlled volume and uh, as we had done in the last time we are taking a two dimensional situation however it can be extended for three dimensional very easily and we are taking cartesian coordinate system let us consider a infinitesimally control volume this is your delta x delta x delta y and this is 0 delta y and keep in mind that what do you mean by this infinitesimally small the delta x and delta y the distance if you look at if I say this is my distance right is too small right that is the meaning now we want to look at this control volume right this is my control volume it is having let us say phase A and phase B and this is your phase C and D right just to have a feel I am just putting this it is not required as such and um, now the we will have to look at the momentum conservation and what is that that is basically rate of accumulation of momentum in the control volume right rate of accumulation or gain I can say gain of momentum in C V is equal to rate of control volume minus I can say rate of momentum out of control volume right is plus what are those things like some of the forces acting on control volume and this I can say is the equation 1 right and when you talk about this basically we will have to look at now the momentum conservation along the x direction and momentum conservation in the y direction we will be looking at it but let us now consider the momentum you know 
conservation along the x direction right along. So, if you look at what is this momentum in the x direction that is entering into this is rho v x and v x. What is v x? v x is the let v x is the velocity along x direction and v y is the velocity along y direction right. And what is getting out the, from this uh, phase B that is rho V x V x right and we will have to expand in the Taylor series and assuming that delta x is too small and the higher order terms are not there. So, what we will write down? We will write down the x rho V x V x into delta x. So, when you look at this uh, momentum flux which is entering into this and you will have to apply into multiplied by the area A rate of momentum along x direction what it would be? rho v x v x into delta y minus rho v x v x plus rho v x v x delta x into delta y right. And this will cancel it out right, this will be cancel it if I just uh, you know take this delta y into this that will be cancel it out. What I will be getting is basically rho v x v x into delta x into delta y right this much I will be getting. Now, what we will have to look at now? We will have to look at along with the x direction right due to the fluid velocity v y how much momentum flux is going in and out. So, that way if you look at it is going this way what is that? That is basically rho v y into v x. Similarly, here what is that going on? Rho v y v x plus by rho y rho v y v x into delta y. So, now it will be if you look at it is going through this delta x right. So, therefore, the rate of momentum uh, this is basically y momentum right along x direction right um, in this control volume will be basically I will not write down is equal to rho v y v x into delta x minus rho v y v x y rho v y v x into delta y into delta x right. So, this will cancel it out right this will be cancelling out. So, therefore, I will get minus v x v y into delta x delta y right. So, and if you look at rate of accumulation of okay. 
momentum what it would be along the x direction ok along x direction what we are doing now only along the x direction right that will be what dou by dou t rho v x into delta x into delta y of course the volume one is uh, you know perpendicular to this plane so therefore that itself is a volume ok keep in mind that so uh, now if you look at we know in this term the left hand side and right hand side both the terms we know only we will have to look at the forces some of the forces acting on the control volume along the x direction right so if we will do that now we need to look at what are the forces acting on the control volume if you look at we need to now evaluate it some of the forces right what are the forces acting on this control volume what are the forces pressure, pressure? i can uh, of course pressure will be acting without that flow can take place right but i would like to look at in a little different way that means there will be some forces which will be acting on the surface there will be force forces which will be acting on the volume itself right so therefore i can divide these forces into two categories one is which will be acting on the surface right and other will be acting on the volume so what are the forces which will be acting on the volume gravity electromagnetic forces right and other things which we are not interested in except gravity why you will be interested in gravity ok gravity is not really very important right when the convective flow is taking place gravity does not play a very important role is not it yes or no but however we will be dealing with something diffuse and flame jet diffuse and flame we will be talking about droplet combustion where gravity will be playing a role there we are not looking at convection as a predominant right so it is a natural convection which will be taking over so therefore we are keeping the gravity in our governing equation we will be considering gravity right gravitational force right and the surface forces can be due to the shear stress because it will be acting on the surface making the shear right and uh, you know stress force per unit area that is the so therefore it will be we can say that due to these forces there will be created shear stress right you can say shear force also and other is the normal the two things which will be normal forces right now let us look at what are the things which will be considering along the x directions right we will take again the control volume right now there will be force you know which will we call it as a normal force right which will be acting and uh, uh, that is we call normal stress in this control volume this is a control volume this of course a b c d right and this is delta x delta y i'm just writing i'm not writing other any other point now and if you look at the force the shear stress which is acting on here is sigma x x right and which will be acting here sigma x x plus sigma x x x into of course delta y i can say this is into delta y right so now the shear force which will be acting here and similarly it will be acting in this direction just opposite because this force is opposite in direction that will be y x plus y x by 
uh, y delta y into delta x because acting on this surface you know this area this is you know this thing is basically delta x. Now, what is this tau if you look at this tau y x means this is acting on the surface y along the x direction. Okay. What is the tau y x is the shear stress right acting on y face direction face right along x direction. Now, the net force acting on this fluid element what it would be net forces acting on the in uh, what you call control volume in x direction would be equal to sigma x x plus x I can put this way right into delta y minus sigma x x into delta y right plus tau y x y delta y into delta x minus tau y x into delta x. So, this will cancel it out, this will be cancelling out. So, I will get basically x x x plus y x y into delta x into delta y right and net body forces which will be acting on this body force means gravitational force what we are considering okay acting on control volume along x direction would be nothing but rho f x f x is the body force along x direction. Basically, it will be body force can be anything you know you need not to be gravity if it is gravity it will be g okay? right and rho into g that is uh, into delta x into delta y right. And if I will substitute all these thing in equation 1 right what it would be it would be by substituting all the terms in equation 1 and what you call uh, delta x tending to a 0 and delta y tending to a 0 conditions right we can have that basically what I will get I will get rho v x by d t plus rho v x v x x plus rho v x v y d y is equal to x by d x plus y x divided by y plus rho f x. So, this is the expression what you will get right. Let us say this is equation 2. Okay. Now, if you look at we do not know really what is the normal stress right this I call it as a normal stress 
and this of course, I have already told you shear stress along the what to call x directions. And we can also you know do all these processes all this by the similar way by the analogous way we can derive the momentum equation along the y direction. Keep in mind that this of course, we call the momentum conservation equation along x direction. Right. So, momentum equation along the y direction by using similar method, we can derive momentum equation along y direction right that is v y this is basically momentum equation in the y direction right this is your momentum equation y direction now keep in mind that these are what you call if you look at rho v x rho v y is what are those things those are mass fluxes where rho v x and rho v y are basically uh, what you call the mass fluxes, isn't it? This is the mass flux, which is basically a, a vector quantity, right? Because of the velocity is there, right? And uh, mass fluxes along x and y direction respectively. And of course, the sigma that is shear stress and the uh, sigma that is basically the normal stress and the tau is the shear stress which is acting on the you know surface of the control volume. And how we will take care? What we will do? Because we will have to apply the Stokes viscosity law, right? And of course, this one can derive, which I am not deriving, but you can look at some standard books like uh, you know any fluid mechanics book, you will get that by applying Stokes viscosity law, the surface stresses. Are given by tau x y is equal to tau y x mu y plus tau v y x and sigma x x is equal to mu 2 x by d x minus 2 by 3 v minus p. And keep in mind that this generally will be 
very very small or 0 tending towards 0. So, therefore, you can say approximately equal to minus p. Similarly, sigma y y will be mu 2 d v y by d y minus 2 by 3 delta v minus p is equal to basically this will be 0 for most of the cases and then approximately equal to the p. So, then when you substitute this equation what you will get is basically uh, final equation we can get x momentum equation dou rho v x by dou t plus rho v x v x plus rho v x v y minus dou p by dou x plus mu v x by x plus mu plus rho f x. Similarly, y momentum equation you can get as rho v y d t plus rho v x and v y d x plus y rho v y y minus dou p by dou y plus rho d x mu y y d x plus y mu dou v y by dou y and uh, plus rho f y. So, this is the equation for Cartesian coordinate system and however, we may use for the, the cylindrical systems, axisymmetric systems. What I am thinking that uh, you please look at that and expressions because uh, or I can uh, write it down for you that is for an axisymmetric flow, we are only considering uh, in the r and uh, z directions right in cylindrical coordinate system, we can have this is z momentum. by d z rho v z v z r this will be v z v r is equal to minus d p by d z plus 1 by uh, this is dou by dou z mu d v z by d z plus 1 by r r r mu d v z by d r and then rho g z. So, and the r momentum equation we can write down as and keep in mind that this I have uh, considered as for the steady process right. This is for the steady flow, unsteady term I have not added in this ok. <coughs> so, um, that is basically
v z v r plus by r into r rho v z v r is equal to minus d p by d r plus rho d z mu v r by z plus 1 by r d by d r r mu d v r by d r plus rho g r right direction just to say but uh, you know gravitational force if you are considering right um, that will be uh, rather I would like to write it down here rho f z this is general body force okay rho f r okay these are the body forces what we are considering and if it is gravitational it will be g okay so with this we will stop over keep in mind that we will be revisiting uh, these things later on whenever we are uh, looking at the flame kind of thing for analysis thank you very much